Hello! The other day I made a video on some 1.9 weapon suggestions. And you know what? You guys seem to really like that video. I had a lot of uh, comments on that, a lot of suggestions, a lot of feedback from you guys. And you know what? That video was actually a lot of fun to make. So I'm going to make another one. So today I have a completely different idea that I would like to share with you. So before we get into that though, let me go back to let me, let me go back to the past. So in 1.7.3, well 1.7 beta, pistons were added to the game. Now, if you were playing Minecraft back in beta, um, when pistons were announced, when pistons were you know were mentioned that they were being added to the game, everyone was excited. Everyone was crazy excited. I was crazy excited. And when Jeb released that video of the piston demonstrations, man, man, I went crazy. It was uh, it was really exciting. But the thing is, that when pistons actually came out, I was a little bit disappointed because they had a lot of restrictions that impeded a lot of the stuff that I was hoping that they'd do. In 1.5, um, the, the, not beta, but 1.5, redstone was updated. Redstone was changed so that instead of just outputting an on or off signal, it outputted a analog signal. So there was signal strength. And a lot of mechanisms benefited from this. For example, we had comparators and stuff that utilized this new mechanic. But something that, again, was ignored was pistons. Pistons have pretty much remained unchanged um, in the four years that they existed. And the thing is that they've had this opportunity, this great potential to be updated to this new redstone world. So I've put on this little demonstration here to show you my super piston. You know, this room does seem awfully big for such a small piston. Maybe he's compensating for something. Or maybe he's not. Right, so you'll see that there's a dumb block up there. And our goal is to get it. But obviously it's a pretty long distance away. So we're going to use the piston to get it. Right, so let me demonstrate this, because it's really, really cool. So basically my idea is that pistons should uh, be able to extend depending on their signal strength to fit into this new redstone world. And here's how I envision it works. <sighs> so we have uh, the piston here. And basically, if you were to put a comparator next to the piston directing into it, you can now use this uh, this new type of piston. So, um, let me show you some action. So let us go out a little bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I think that'll be good. Um, this is important, by the way. Um, I think it's fourteen, thirteen. No, I think it's thirteen. All right, yeah, it's important. All right, so. Basically, the, when I place the redstone block, this piston is going to extend, but it's going to extend a little bit differently. Uh -huh. It extended more than you're expecting. Well, probably not, because I've been hyping this up for the past three minutes. <laughs> but if I get rid of this block there, it will retract. And if I move the, the signal closer to the piston, so I get rid of this block, can I add another redstone? It extends even further. That's three blocks this time. So, if we were to place this redstone block right next to the comparator, so full signal strength, this piston will be able to go up there and get the piston, the, uh, the dime block for us. So let's try that out. Get rid of this guy. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's gone all the way up there. Can he come back down? He can. I think this would give pistons a much needed enhancement. But I also think it respects survival. Now, this might seem a little bit jarring to you at first, but let me ask you this genuine question. If this feature was added right now, how excited would you be? As a redstoner, what would you do with this? Would you honestly not want this in the game? Let me know what you think, because I think that Minecraft has proven over the years that it absolutely thrives on these kinetic mechanisms, and I'd love to see more of them and more functionality. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That is pretty much all we have for today. If you enjoyed, a like is always appreciated. Subscribe if you're not ready. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.